Welcome to the second part of my video about life rafts on board the vessel. Today, we will continue and discuss the components of an inflated life raft and the survival equipment inside. A life raft needs to keep people inside comfortable by using two layers of material or some other effective method to protect against extreme temperatures. The interior of the life raft should be a color that doesn't make the people inside uncomfortable. There should be clear entrances with easy-to-use closures that can be operated from both inside and outside, and these closures should allow for ventilation while keeping out seawater, wind, and cold. For life rafts that hold more than eight people, there should be at least two entrances located opposite each other. The life raft should also allow enough air for the people inside, even when the entrances are closed. It should have a window for looking outside and a way to collect rainwater. Additionally, there should be a way to attach a radar transponder for safety purposes, positioned at least one meter above the sea. And, of course, there should be enough headroom inside for people to sit comfortably. A manually operated light should be placed on the top of the life raft's canopy. This light should be white and able to stay on continuously for at least 12 hours in all directions above the lamp. If the light is a flashing type, it should flash between 50 and 70 times per minute during the 12-hour period, maintaining an equivalent level of brightness. Inside the life raft, there should be a lamp that can be operated manually, and it must be capable of staying on for at least 12 hours continuously. This lamp should automatically turn on when the life raft's canopy is set up, and it should provide enough light for people to read survival and equipment instructions. The main buoyancy chamber in the life raft must have at least two separate compartments, and each of these compartments should be filled with air through a valve that doesn't allow the air to escape. These compartments need to be arranged in a way so that if one of them is damaged or doesn't inflate properly, the other compartments should still be able to keep the entire life raft afloat. Life raft shall be inflated with a non-toxic gas. Inflation shall be completed within a period of 1 minutes at an ambient temperature of between 18 and 20 degrees Celsius and within a period of 3 minutes at an ambient temperature of minus 30 degrees. If the life raft happens to flip over, it should be stable enough for one person to turn it back over in both rough seas and calm waters. When the life raft is carrying its maximum number of people and equipment, it should be stable enough to be towed at speeds of up to 3 knots in calm water. The life raft shall be fitted with water pockets. The water pockets shall be of a highly visible color and positioned symmetrically round the circumference of the life raft. Water pockets in a life raft serve the important purpose of adding stability and preventing the life raft from capsizing in rough seas. These pockets are essentially weighted compartments located on the underside of the life raft. They are filled with water, which provides ballast and lowers the life raft's center of gravity. This helps to keep the life raft upright and stable in the water, even in challenging sea conditions. In the event of strong waves or wind, the added weight from the water pockets helps counteract the life raft's tendency to tip over. This stability is crucial to ensure the safety of the occupants and prevent the life raft from capsizing, which could lead to dangerous and life-threatening situations. At least one entrance shall be fitted with a semi-rigid boarding ramp, capable of supporting a person weighing 100 kilograms, to enable persons to board the life raft from the sea. The boarding ramp shall be so arranged as to prevent significant deflation of the life raft if the ramp is damaged. Entrances not provided with a boarding ramp shall have a boarding ladder, the lowest step of which shall be situated not less than 0.4 meters below the life raft's light waterline. There shall be means inside the life raft to assist persons to pull themselves into the life raft from the ladder. So what kind of equipment inside of life raft? The normal equipment of every life raft shall consist of one buoyant rescue coit, attached to not less than 30 meters of buoyant line. The use of a buoyant rescue coit is aimed at saving lives by providing buoyancy and serving as a means for rescuers to pull a person in distress out of the water to a safe location. One knife of the non-folding type having a buoyant handle and lanyard attached. 
For a life raft which is permitted to accommodate not more than 12 persons, one buoyant baler required. For a life raft which is permitted to accommodate 13 persons or more required two buoyant balers. Additionally it should be equipped with two sponges and two sea anchors each with a shock resistant hawser and tripping line if fitted, one being spare and the other permanently attached to the life raft in such a way that when the life raft inflates or is waterborne it will cause the life raft to lie oriented to the wind in the most stable manner. The purpose of a sea anchor in a life raft is to stabilize and prevent drifting, helping to keep the raft oriented in a specific direction to improve the chances of rescue. Two buoyant paddles in a life raft is to assist with steering and maneuvering the raft, helping occupants navigate and reach safety or rescue more effectively. Additionally we can found three tin openers, pair of scissors and one first aid outfit in a waterproof case. Whistle or equivalent sound signal in a life raft is to attract attention and signal for help in emergency situations, aiding in the location and rescue of the raft's occupants. Also in life raft we can found four rocket parachute flares, six hand flares, two buoyant smoke signals complying with the requirements. One waterproof electric torch suitable for more signaling together with one spare set of batteries and one spare bulb in a waterproof container. An efficient radar reflector in a life raft improves the raft's visibility on radar, aiding search and rescue efforts in challenging conditions ultimately increasing the chances of a timely rescue for those in need. A daylight signaling mirror reflects sunlight toward potential rescuers, making the raft more visible and aiding in daytime signaling for help, which increases the chances of being spotted and rescued. One copy of the life-saving signals referred to in regulation on a waterproof card or in a waterproof container. Fishing tackle in a life raft serves the purpose of providing a means for occupants to catch fish or other marine life for sustenance while awaiting rescue in a survival situation. The life raft is equipped with a food ration totaling no less than 10,000 kilojoules for each person and a total quantity of drinking water of 1.5 liters per person. Rust-proof graduated drinking vessel in a life raft serves as an essential tool for rationing and distributing drinking water efficiently among the occupants, helping to maintain hydration and extend the available water supply until rescue. The life raft equipped with quantity of anti-seasickness medicine sufficient for at least 48 hours and one seasickness bag for each person. Thermal protective aids, which should meet specific requirements, are provided for a minimum of 10% of the number of persons the life raft is designed to hold, or at least two individuals, whichever is the greater number. These aids are crucial for preventing hypothermia as they reflect a person's body heat back to them, helping to keep them warm in cold or wet conditions. They are essential for maintaining core body temperature and increasing the chances of survival until rescue takes place. Every inflatable life raft is equipped with a repair outfit, specifically designed for patching up any punctures in the buoyancy compartments. This means that even in the unlikely event of a puncture, your life raft can be swiftly mended to keep you afloat and secure. In the face of an emergency, it's crucial to maintain the proper air pressure in your life raft's buoyancy compartments. To aid with this, each life raft is furnished with a topping up pump or bellows. This ensures that your life raft remains fully inflated, providing the necessary buoyancy to keep you safe. I hope this video was helpful for you, and you learned something new. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel it will greatly help its development. Thank you for your attention.